never saw the board again. He got a big wind of us and hit it over the top of the pass. Headed up to parts unknown. Last day of the brown bear hunt today, last day of the season on the Alaskan Peninsula. It's gonna happen today or it's not gonna happen at all. We just spotted, spotted a nice bear about two miles away. It's 740, got good wind. We're gonna go for it and see if we can't get on him before dark. Nice bear. Looks like this one eluded us. Well, we'll push up in there just a bit more and just set up on a hill and wait, see if he'll come feeding out in the open. He's probably just in here feeding somewhere, I'm just not showing. So we'll work up, find a spot, sit down, and give him some time. Fill here magazine, let's go. He's down, he's down over there in this brush here, but we put a few bolts in on him. Yeah. <laughs> we did. Yeah, it's good shooting though, lots of hits. And we'll just give it some time. This is the last minutes of the bear season on the Alaska Peninsula. And we just dropped one. <laughs> wow. What an emotional trip. Congratulations. Good. Thanks, bud. What a hunt. What a stock. <laughs> nice bear. Look at that hide on. Wow. Nice. Man, they are just beautiful. Amazing. This time of year. Amazing hide. I just I just didn't think we were gonna get this <laughs> get this done. I just well, didn't think. We didn't have much more time, that's for we sure. Had, we had no time left. Braving the weather and the hardships of the Alaska Peninsula is enough of a challenge in and of itself, let alone when you throw in hunting for one of the largest predators in the world. It definitely raises the bar. 